Hey guys, this is Dave and with me this is Krish. Welcome to our channel Football Adda with Detail. Exactly. So guys, welcome back to our preview series. So this is preview for game week 4 and uh, we'll do our prediction. So uh, game week game week 3 predictions were awful. We could not match even single match. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So let uh, check for this week uh, what are the matches what are the important matches and uh, we'll predict the scores obviously for this week and also this week we have super sunday manchester versus arsenal we'll talk about that also okay now let us start with uh, the friday match first is friday night india time uh, so it is luton town versus west ham united uh, so this is this this is the, I mean, it's, it's just a simple game, I would say, for West Ham being uh, the form that they are currently. Uh, I, I would predict West Ham winning this easily by 3-0. Uh, okay. And, uh, yeah, so uh, Luton, I, I don't see Luton scoring again, even though it's uh, on their home ground. That will be an interesting thing to see how they have managed to uh, get, uh, get the stadium ready for the match. And... Uh, how they how they can uh, how how the people are gonna react to that and uh, it will be nice to watch that. Uh, but yeah, I, I would still go with uh, West Ham thrashing Luton Town by three zero. Okay, uh, yeah. So my prediction is also similar to yours. It is three uh, zero for West Ham. So considering the West Ham's form uh, for past two matches, obviously we can expect that uh, West Ham to win this and specifically against Luton. Uh, so uh, okay, let's see uh, what happens. Uh, next one is uh, Sheffield United versus Everton. So it's uh, Sheffield uh, Sheffield's home game, and my prediction for this match is it it will be uh, if you if you consider these two teams, so it will be a little bit competitive uh, uh, because um, uh, for uh, considering their form and their performances, and uh, but still. I'm giving H to uh, Sheffield United uh, and I'm expecting Sheffield to win this match 1-0. That is, that is nice. That is nice to hear uh, Sheffield United being promoted and uh, of course we would like to see Sheffield United win. Uh, I, I, would, uh, I would still give uh, this one as a, uh, a draw. Uh, Sheffield will score one goal and Everton will score one goal. So I'll give it a 1-1 one -one draw. Uh, even though means both of the team are not exactly in form, but we cannot decide that with only two to three matches. So uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I would still give one one two. Okay. Uh, so the next one is uh, so guys, it is already we entered in Saturday. So these are all Saturday matches. Uh, so the next one is uh, Brentford versus Bournemouth. Uh, your prediction. Yeah, so Brentford uh, versus Bournemouth would be a good game actually. Uh, Bournemouth uh, is known to score uh, certain goals even. Uh, <clears throat> there, there are a few players like Dominic Solanke and uh, Tavernier. These guys uh, are in form even though uh, we saw them play really well in the last season as well. Uh, I, I would say Brentford, uh, I, I would give uh, edge to Brentford on this thing because uh, <laughs> Brentford, it's a home game for Brentford, and uh, M Buemo is on good form. Visa is on good form, uh, so I, I would, uh, I would, I would give edge to Brentford winning this 2-1. Okay, uh, so if you ask uh, my predictions, my uh, um, thoughts, so I, I'm, I'm not able to uh, give edge to anyone. So for me, I'm expecting this uh, will be a draw, and the result could be 1-1. Uh, Brentford one, Bournemouth one. Okay. Uh, so the next one is Burnley versus Tottenham Hotspur. So it is Burnley's home game. Uh, yeah, Burnley's home game. Uh, even though it is Burnley's home game, but uh, Tottenham are playing actually good football here. So I, I would say Tottenham uh, continuing the same form they uh, they have done with uh, they uh, showed with uh, Manchester United and uh, they defeated Manchester United with two zero. I'm continuing. I'm expecting a similar form with Burnley as well. Even though it's a very match for Tottenham, I would give them 2-0 win over Burnley uh, for this, according to my prediction. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I'm also expecting same. Uh, I, I'm not expecting to Burnley score uh, 
a goal against Tottenham considering their defensive form and attacking line uh, attacking uh, form also so so you can say from uh, from my side also it is the same uh, it is 2-0 for Tottenham so next one Chelsea versus Nottingham Forest so we saw how last week Nottingham Forest scored two goals within three minutes versus Manchester United ah, we can uh, we can question about the quality of the goal uh, the presence of uh, Manchester United defensive lineup so your your expectation from this match uh, so yeah chelsea versus nottingham forest would be a good game uh, i would say because uh, obviously this is a new team for chelsea the young uh, young team and uh, i my prediction I, i'll come to my prediction but uh, before that uh, there is there is a problem uh, we would concede goals chelsea would concede goals uh, if they come up with uh, the same 352 formation mm. problem with that is it leaves the defense really open and the opponent can easily penetrate and uh, it it is uh, it is what happened in the last uh, matches right so in the first half or even first 20 minutes it was awful starting with uh, liverpool and west ham uh, so that gives a chance to nottingham forest uh, but still uh, i would say chelsea would concede one goal uh, so I, I would give edge to Chelsea winning this match 2-1. Okay. Uh, so if you ask about my prediction for this particular match, I am expecting to uh, Chelsea to win this match 2-0. Uh, I am not expecting Nottingham to score a goal because uh, last day they scored that that was a fluke, I believe. Uh, and uh, Chelsea's uh, Raheem Sterling's considering his form brilliant form so i'm expecting chelsea to win this with 2-0 result so next uh, i'm going to the next match uh, it's man city versus fulham from etihad and so my prediction is 2-1 for manchester city to win uh, I, I don't know why haland is not uh, like uh, in form like last year even though it is very early stage he may pick his form he'll uh, start scoring goals obviously but uh, considering last three weeks uh, he's is not like the last season so considering that i'm giving manchester city two goals and also uh, considering fulham's form i'm giving one goal to them uh, your take uh, yes yeah, so, uh, for me i would say manchester city to regain uh, back the form uh, considering the last match that they had with sheffield united and uh, they the comeback suddenly which uh, sheffield united and it was going to be yes. going to be a draw but uh, suddenly rodri came to the rescue right? last so, moment comeback yeah, last yeah. moment comeback yeah so considering that fact i am expecting guardiola to uh, bash these guys completely and they would <laughs> come to the yeah, they would come to the match completely rejuvenated and uh, i would say uh, city winning this match uh, 3-1 3-1. Okay. Uh, I would say, yeah, uh, Haaland will score one or two. Even Alvarez, if he plays, should score. And one, one. What about Rodri? He yeah, scored. Yeah, one can't come from midfield. Yeah. <laughs> he scored yeah. in first match. He scored in third match. So Rodri. Yeah, I'm expecting to, that to continue. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so shall we keep Rodri in our FPL team? Are you I am anything? kind of yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I am kind of hoping <laughs> to bring okay. him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but uh, yeah, I, I would consider uh, putting uh, Almiron. The chances uh, he created last week. Oh yes. my God! Yes, he was on fire actually. So yes. Almiron would That's be true. a good pick for me in FPL. If you guys are doing the teams, uh, obviously please join our group as well, and uh, you'll get to have a lot of fun. We would we'll compete together, and uh, yeah, please. Okay, so going to the next one. So it will be exi- an exciting one and it is on Saturday, 10 o'clock India time, IST. It's Brighton versus Newcastle United and it is Brighton's home game. We expected Brighton uh, to, to defeat West Ham by three goals to one or uh, three goals to nil and we saw what happened. West Ham's result, uh, West Ham won that match by three goals to one. Now, uh, what is your take on this particular fixture uh see the uh, football that uh, deserve plays and uh, the uh, the result that they got last uh, uh, the last week so i am expecting a full comeback from brighton i am expecting a good result from brighton 
but uh, newcastle is actually on fire right now so the game that they are playing i, I believe that they will outplay brighton it will be an awesome match to watch both team will perform at the peak and yes. i'll give the edge to even though it's a brighton home game but i'll still give the edge to newcastle united uh, uh, owing to their uh, the recent form even though brighton uh, has a little bit of dip in the form but still i would expect them to give a, have a comeback but uh, my prediction would be 3-2 newcastle winning and wow uh, yeah. it is a exciting exciting score line 3-2 yeah. Yeah. okay uh so my prediction will be uh, also similar uh, i mean uh, the exciting score line i am expecting newcastle to win this match by two goals to one and also newcastle lost to liverpool last week uh, they were winning that match even though with a 10 man with a red card liverpool bounced back so i am expecting newcastle to bounce back after that setback so uh, so so even though it is brighton's uh, as you said even though it is brighton's home game uh, so i'm expecting newcastle to win this okay now going to the sunday matches first one is crystal palace versus wolves and my prediction for this match will be for wolves i'm giving little uh, edge to wolves and i'm expecting a 1-0 win for wolves uh, so it's a little bit difficult to predict this one uh, the game will be i kind of think that the game will be not that much exciting but uh, kind of stale one <laughs> but uh, yeah but uh, yeah the given um, nunes has is already going to manchester city pulse yes. is lacking in that power I, I don't know whether he will play i am not sure i, I think i mm. think he will not because by Difficult. the time transfer window yeah. no no by the time transfer window will be over so yeah. he will already be a city player so he exactly. will not play for the yeah so uh i would say uh but, uh see the in crystal palace everachi is is on form he, he is playing well anderson joachim anderson this guy is uh, actually played really well last uh, last uh, last week so uh, so it's actually difficult to predict i would give uh, this a draw 1-1 draw uh, okay. wolves versus uh, crystal palace both scoring okay. one goal okay uh so the next one is uh, liverpool versus aston villa from anfield and what is your prediction for from this match see this, this is actually uh, this is actually difficult to predict i would say but uh, see aston villa are on good form aston villa uh, means unai emery and they got some good backup uh, with uh, diaby and is playing really well and uh, oli watkins so, uh, Oliver Kudya is is the, one of the great strikers uh, currently in EPL, and uh, so considering that, and Liverpool has Van Dijk uh, not on the team, uh, getting out of the last yeah. last match, yeah. So that will play a crucial part in the defense. So they have uh, Konate and Joe Gomez. They, oh, they need to play Konate and Joe Gomez. So that that becomes a problem because they will lack depth in the defense part. And even and, for uh, alexander arnold also we saw last week uh, his uh, defensive blunder the yeah, first goal the, from the newcastle was, duel was yeah. yeah yeah but he was able to come back and uh, uh, there were some good contributions from alexander arnold as well uh, considering those i would say uh, liverpool to win this match uh, 1-0 it's because it's in anfield that is the that is the Main okay thing. i would consider here yeah. liverpool uh, is very difficult to defeat liverpool on anfield and uh, even though the defensive completely messed up right now i would still give liverpool to win this match 1-0 okay uh my prediction would be 2-1 uh, we discussed multiple times that uh, uh, uh aston villa uh, they lost their first match but after that their uh, their form is uh, completely different they are winning back to back uh and also considering liverpool's last week uh, last week's comeback versus uh, newcastle very strong side so i believe this is going to be a, a very exciting one uh, but i'm giving little edge to liverpool uh, so i'm expecting liverpool to win this match by two goals to one result will be 2-1 okay uh, so next we'll talk about the super sunday fixture it's arsenal versus manchester united from the emirates stadium 
So you you start. You, okay. You are a minister. You are already wearing a standard jersey. <laughs> okay. Uh, so considering Manchester's uh, defensive form, uh, I'm 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 still not. Even though last week versus Nottingham they considered two goals uh, within three minutes. But after that, they came back. Okay, uh, so the performance was good in the second half. If they maintain that performance, uh, I can say uh, it will be an exciting one. I mean, the match will be good. Uh, but I am not uh, logically. I am speaking. I am not expecting Manchester to win this match. I am expecting a two-two draw. But my heart is saying different thing. my heart is saying that manchester will defeat arsenal for sure and it will be uh, like 3 2 4 2 whatever it is but but logically if i say uh, it it could be a draw mostly it's up to you. now your turn so uh, usually we have seen the, the big matches uh, come to a draw right and in multiple scenarios even last season also we saw that uh, manchester were, were united were losing 2-1 and uh, they 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 came into a draw arsenal were defeating and uh, they it became a draw finally 2-2 right but i would uh, I, i would give this particular uh, arsenal team in this particular season an edge uh, because of the reinforcements that they got and uh, excluding obviously excluding havertz i'm not considering havertz uh, under the enforcement uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah declan rice so, uh, <laughs> yeah declan rice that that is an obvious upgrade uh, so i i would give this match to arsenal winning 3-1 i would give this match arsenal winning 3-1 are you joking or it is a serious prediction yeah. it's a serious prediction sir but i don't I, I think would... uh, but but uh, chris i'll i'll tell you one thing if you if you have observed the matches uh, arsenal is not in a form like last year okay even though last week if you see uh, uh, they were able to manage uh, i mean they were first they are losing yeah. then uh, it was 2-1 and then finally they considered a goal and it was a 2-2 draw right yeah. uh so i don't know how you are predicting this 3-1 and i'm i'm having a fear that whenever you predict something against manchester united it happens so <laughs> oh my god i i i <laughs> i don't know whether your prediction uh, uh, even though your all predictions are not matching this one prediction will definitely match because it is against <laughs> the manchester united i'm i'm having that fear <laughs> but uh, i don't know uh, but still end of the day i w- i want manchester to win this match okay i i i think because actually since this is a this is a big fixture this is a, this is actually a big fixture both of the teams are uh, one of the top teams in epl uh, that that is the reason that is the reason i see that uh, arteta coming to it uh, very strongly not only arteta even uh, eth as well uh, I, i for this particular thing i would give uh, i would give uh, an, an edge to uh, arsenal because there is a but 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 do you want to revise your score line you predicted 3-1 yeah, yeah i did that because there is a reason please do See, it yeah so currently uh, luksho is injured right they are yeah. uh, expecting they are yes. expecting uh, kukurela they are oh expecting kukurela God. so yeah so no. even if they get kukurela i don't think he will be joining for that regular match Hmm. and it's very difficult to manage the back line with uh, players in geod or in red card we have so, dalo you do have dalo but uh, i would still for this particular thing i think arsenal would have a turn around and from this particular match arsenal will start okay okay uh, so guys these were the matches uh, uh, so which are which will happen in the coming weekend uh so don't miss this exciting super sunday fixture so guys this is the prediction for game week 4 at a glance uh so guys uh transfer deadline day is nearing is coming soon uh, it's after two days uh so we'll sh- we'll have a special episode on that definitely and uh, please follow our channel for this weekly preview and review videos we'll come back on monday uh, with a with a review of game week 4 uh, so mm-hmm. hope 
you are enjoying this uh, our preview series uh, if you are enjoying hit the like button and share your thoughts in comments and finally you have to subscribe to football at david dk exactly okay uh, so that's it uh, bye for today bye krish <laughs>